good evening one and all and uh, welcome to the video in this video i would like to share a small python library which is developed by mr h2 non uh, he has done a great job this library is called json path ng what is json path ng well i was casually looking for some of some tool that allows you to query the json data so this tool essentially or this library or a wrapper allows you to query json data what i mean by that let me show you in this video so in this video i will give you an overview about the tool and how to use it so say you want to get the document let's say you want to get the document where uh, the name is bachelors you just want to get this entity how do you query this json uh, this is a pretty small file but if you have massive json documents and if you just want to filter out that json document based on some condition well you could write for loop and then dot get and if statement but this library does a wonderful wonderful job let me teach you a little bit about that you can install this library with a simple pip command by using pip install upgrade json path ng and this library uh, would be installed right so let me show you a small demo about this library so uh, I have a couple of example here, so I'm going to import uh, from JSON path ng uh, import parser and JSON path. So this example should cover the basics on how to use this library. So the first example that I'm about to show you is how do you uh, how do you query a particular element? Say I want to query where the uh, say I want to get uh, the first name in the node. So the way you do that is essentially by this way. And uh, give me one more second. So you use the word parse, then you provide the query dot find, you provide the data and then you search for the value. In this case, I'm saying dollar, which means, hey, I'm on my root component. I'm looking for something called first name. And uh, essentially, it's going to look on this entire data and it's going to give me the value. And keep watching this video. It's a really nice tool, guys. I, I, I really feel it's a really great tool for querying JSON data. For example, if you wanted to, uh, so... If you wanted to use this like that, you could also use an if statement. For example, if this key is not there, uh, you know, so essentially this would take care if a particular key is not there, then it wouldn't throw an exception. So for example, if I try to do this one, this wouldn't throw an exception at least, but so you could use this uh, like that. Now, let me show you some more example on how to query uh, more JSON data, right? So now we'll look at the languages. So how to query arrays inside a document, right? So to, to do that, uh, as I said, this, this tool is very, very easy, uh, but I'm just providing an overview here. So you can use the word language dot find and um, the, the data that you want to find on, right? So now you're saying that, hey, parser, look for the key called language in the, in the top directory. And now if you run this, You should have the languages. Now, this is not it, right? Now, let's query the nested documents. So I want to query this data. So how do I write a query? I want to say, give me degree, and inside the degree, give me the document where the name is bachelor. Well, you could also write complicated queries like that as well. But first, I would show you how to do a very basic one. So this line right here says, says hey, from the degree entity, it's an array, right? Give me everything. Star means give me everything. So when you run this one, uh, you get everything inside the degree entity. Now, I only want to get the entity inside this JSON where the name is bachelor. So I want to add more uh, filters, right? So the way you do that is uh, using this one. Or before that, let me show you one small, one more thing. So for example, if you just want to get uh, over here, as you can see, you get everything, right? But if you just want to get the name entity, you could simply use the word degree, which means, hey, there's an entity called degree. Then inside that, it's an array, right? Give me everything dot name, which means give me only the name attribute in this. So if you run this one, again, it works uh, great, great, great. This is really good. I mean, you can query massive JSON documents like a pro. Uh, so I really like this. All you got to do is just spend some time in learning how to query, how to write the queries. Now comes the complicated part, the, the, the complicated query. So my question to you here is, give me the degree and give me a document inside there where name is bachelor. So you wanna add this filter conditions now. So you could do that using following statement and I'm gonna explain you. So uh, this one right here, this line right here, as I can see, it says dollar, dollar means the root component. Uh, and let's try to uh, show you uh, let me put it here so I could read and show, show this to you. 
and let me comment everything off okay so now let's understand the query dollar degree which means he says hey on the top directory go to the degree entity now you have a square bracket okay so you have a square bracket now i'm gonna try to make it visible uh, now the question mark says that hey inside that go inside the entity at the rate for every item dot uh, key so i have a name right so i'm saying that hey if any of the name matches with the word bachelor give me the name of it so now if i run this one so as you can see you got the item uh, only that document in this entire one in the array of documents essentially where the name is bachelor so uh, think of this uh, as a query language or uh, i don't know if you guys have used selenium before uh, so how you know how you find item on a, an html page on a dom using xpath right xpath is a query language essentially to query the dom elements well this is something similar behind the scenes i think they are using regular expressions and all that but i really like it because it allows you to query json uh, json uh, big json data with uh, you know simple query like this you can say dollar stands for root then dot and you can uh, access the key then you can apply filter conditions and much more there is much more but uh, as i said come here take a look at the documentation he has given a wonderful documentation you can see dollar is the root item he has explained everything pretty nicely right so everything is mentioned here i'm going to leave this uh, github link as well in the description and the code snippet that i have written hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed uh, watching this video this is a really great tool because now you could query massive json documents if you have one and if you only want to return particular data from that json you could do that using this of course you could write for loop and all that but if you don't want to write that simply write the query and get the data thank you so much for watching this video hope you have enjoyed it if you have do enjoyed this video do let me know in the comment section below and by the way keep learning keep smiling and i would see you guys in the upcoming next video